God bless you. This is Prophetess Cross of Fire and Rain Ministries, and today I would like to share with you a teaching that the Lord has given me. So sit back and glean from the Word, and remember, I have a word for you from the Word. Let's go into the teaching. I heard a man of God say one time, well, I'm going to give you an experience that I know for sure happened. I was in a meeting. We people were praying. Woman of God was praying in tongues, but what really was happening, she was cursing. 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 So while everybody thought that it was tongues and it was wonderful and it was going up, what really was being said out of her mouth were blasphemous words against the Holy Spirit. That's why we have to be so connected with God that everything that we think is God, we better try that spirit to see if it's of God for real. Every spirit, every tongue. Somebody gives you a word, it better be lining up with this. And we're not going to be a people that just hear and say, okay, we're going to hear and search the word out to see if what that word that was given is lined up with the word of God. It's important that we do that. And so how do we know when we're being led astray? How do we know when things are not right? Prayer. Time spent with God in prayer. If his spirit is in you and he's empowered you through prayer, whenever that counterfeit spirit comes up, you're going to know it. Because you will know enough about the real to know the unreal when it comes up. In the banking industry, They don't teach you about counterfeit money. They make sure you know what the real dollar bill looks like so that when a counterfeit comes through, they'll know it. Why? Because they've studied the real long enough to know the difference between the real and the unreal. And we're going to put it in spiritual terms, clean and unclean. Hallelujah. Prayer. Romans chapter 8, 26 and 27 says. Likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the spirit itself maketh intercessions for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the heart knoweth. What is the mind of the spirit? Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Likewise, the spirit also helpeth our infirmities. God will help our infirmities. At the beginning of worship, we said, if we let him. The infirmities of our spirit, the infirmities of our natural body, if we let him. A lot of things that we're struggling with in the natural, some of them are directly related to our spiritual walk. Some of the things, bitterness, All that, you know, holding on to stuff that we should have let go of long ago can cause different types of manifestations of illnesses in our bodies. So we want to make sure that we let that stuff go. So we don't know what we should pray as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the heart knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit. We don't know what's in our heart. We don't know the depth. We don't know the, the, um, the rottenness. I'll just bring it on down to terms that we all can understand. <laughs> we don't know the rottenness that's really in our heart. Why? Because God says he knows what's in our heart. It says the heart is deceitfully and desperately wicked. Who can know it but God? If God were to reveal everything about us that's in our hearts, it would probably take us out of here. Why? Because it's deceitfully and desperately wicked. But guess what? God said he got a remedy for that. He can pluck up those seeds of rebellion. Hmm, seeds of rebellion. Are we rebellious today? Are we a stiff-necked people not wanting to hear anything but what appeases our own flesh? We agree as long. Pastor, you ever been in a situation where people agree as long as you're saying what they want you to say? And as soon as you put them in check, they ready to move on? Yeah. (laughs) Agreement until. So it's important that if God begins to reveal things in our heart that are grievous to him, that we allow him to take it out. Because the Bible says 
And he that searches the heart knoweth what is the mind of what is the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for us according to the will of God. In other words, we got to get in the presence of God to know what his will is for us to pray. Yes. We don't want to pray amiss. Yes. We can be down here praying all kind of stuff and God said, I didn't even say pray that. I have, a, I have something that I want you to pray for specifically so that I can answer it. So have we waited in the presence of the Lord long enough to get the petition to pray so that he can answer it? Talking about according to the will of God. Are we walking according to the will of God? Do we know what the mind of Christ is? If we don't know what the mind of Christ is, there is a remedy. Prayer. Anything that we do must be birthed in prayer. Anything, any ministry, and I'm speaking.